Today, I am going to show you a use case about booking requests. With Test Environment Manager, you can manage your environment's booking requests within Jira. The prerequisites are the following. You need a Jira 7 server with admin rights and you need the version 4.8 minimum of our add-on. We are going to create a new issue type called booking requests. We'll create a few custom fields, a screen, a workflow that we are going to apply to the new booking request issue type. Then we'll test these booking requests, display them on the timeline and finally test the approval process. Ready? Let's go! Let's create a new issue type called booking request. So you go in the admin panel under issue types, add issue type and we call it booking request. We add a description, but also a nice icon in order to differentiate it from the others. Then we are going to create three Jira custom fields. For that, we go under custom fields, add custom field. We select the first one, which is an environments type. We call it environments to book. We create a second field. The second field is a dat date time picker. We are going to call it start time. And we are going to create also a third one, also a date time picker, that we call end time. After creating those custom fields, you need to perform a reindexation. This is a mandatory step within Jira. OK, it's done. Now we need to create a new screen for our issue type. For that, you go under Issues, Screens, and Add Screen. We call it Booking Request Screen. Here we are going to add a summary and the three fields that we just created. Now we are going to link the screen we just created with the booking request issue type. So we go under screen scheme, add screen schemes. We add a name. We make sure that the default screen is booking request screen that we just created. And then we go under issue type screen schemes. And here you choose the scheme of your project. You are going to associate our new issue type that is called booking request with the screen scheme that we just created. Next step, we are going to create the new workflow. For that, we go under workflow, add workflow, we give it a name, and then we create a very simple workflow for the, for the use case. So we have the in review step, an approve step, and a rejected step. We add the transitions. And it's done. We still have to link the new workflow with the booking request issue type. For that, we go under workflow schemes. We choose the scheme of our project. We add the workflow that we just created. and we select the booking request. We publish the workflow. And that's all. If all the previous steps were done correctly, we should now be able to create new booking requests. For that, we go under create, we select booking requests, we put a summary, we select the environments that we'd like to book, we select the dates, the start time and the end time, of the booking request and we created. Let's make a second one with only one environment to book, only two hours slot and we create it. Now comes the most interesting part where we are going to create issue calendars. So you need our add-on, you go under environments, environments timeline, 
that's the timeline. You select the environments that you need and you will add a calendar. So you create an issue calendar. We are going to call it booking request in order to capture all the pending booking requests. So we had pending in the end. We want it yellow. In the events, we are going to select the type of events we want to show. So here is the issue type booking request with a status that is in review. There are then three fields, the event start, event end, and also the environment that corresponds to the fields that we defined within the environment booking request issue type. You save it. And you will see here that the request that it was made just appeared. Then we are going to create a second one. It's the same principle. That one is for the approved ones. We're going to put it green. So we want all the booking requests that are in status approved. And then it's the same for the event start, event end and environments. We are going to select the fields that we created, the custom fields that we defined within the issue type booking request. So now we are going to try to approve one of those booking requests. So for that, click on the booking request that you would like to approve. You click on approve request, which is the right transition. Then the status is approved. And the booking request is now green because it changed to the other calendar. Well done. It's now time to fine tune our planning. You can see that our new booking request calendars are completely integrated with the rest of our calendars. Let's activate all of them. As you can see, there are a few conflicts with the request we just approved, and they can be solved easily with a few drag and drops. Oh, we forgot the Oracle update request. We cannot have an outage in the middle of our user acceptance tests. Let's reject it. The booking request is one of the many use cases you can imagine with AppWide Test Environment Manager. For any question, drop us an email at support at Thank you for listening.